Hello friends, welcome back to It's Cozy Here. I'm Chanel Benjamin. I am so glad that you tuned in today. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. We are doing a fall slash Halloween home tour. It's not completed for Halloween yet, but I couldn't wait to show you guys just how cute I started to get the kitchen ready and my living room and I really wanted to share it with you. I don't think you can have too many home tours but I really really wanted to share this with you. So this will be my September home tour and I hope that you like it. This is my little pumpkin patch area. I did get a new Keurig over at Walmart. They are $50 right now. They had a white one that I've been dying for and I am going to show you in a little bit just how cute this Keurig is. Now I absolutely love candy corn and my goal was to make this kitchen candy corn and if you've seen my last video you'll see that I did a candy corn theme. I will link it below but I actually have changed it since then um, but it was so cute but I always love changing my decor around and finding that perfect balance. I love incorporating different textures into my kitchen decor and I thought those pumpkin picks that I got over at Dollar Tree were absolutely beautiful with the Goodwill basket that I got and a couple of other items that I have in there all have different textures especially the beaded pumpkin. I started to do my dining room table all over again. I had these witch's brooms that I got over at Ross for $22.99 and I had them in a pot, but I decided to change them. I was like, shouldn't I put these on the table? Let me see. And I used some garland and I tied it around and then I placed the pumpkins around it to hide some more of that wire. And I think that you really can't tell and I love, love, love how it turned out. I think this is the final look guys. I absolutely love how I did this. This area here, I am still trying to figure out, but I put bats on the cups and I just thought it was so cute. My husband went and picked it up for me. I was super stoked right after work he did that and I am so excited. I knew it was white and I had been wanting a white one for so long and usually the white ones are like $99 but this time um, it was $49.98 and I couldn't pass it up. I burned my hand there guys, uh, I used the curling iron, but um, I opened this up and I thought this is super light and you guys, it is, it is super, super light and it's super fancy. Take a look at this. I was expecting this to be a lot skinnier, but it wasn't so bad. The best thing about it is that it is super light, easy for me to pick up. I am really in love with this coffee machine and it works perfectly. We haven't had any problems. I'm going to show you what it looks like here, but eventually I am going to make a coffee bar. I wanted to show you guys what the table looked like almost at nighttime and I just thought it was so beautiful with those orange lights and the candlesticks. What a great way to have the dining room table for a nice dinner. I am going to show you my coffee bar that I ended up doing. Um, it's been a couple days since this video, but I had to move everything around and get it done so you guys could see. I had gotten these signs over at Dollar Tree and I knew I wanted to put them together. I just didn't know where. 
And when I finally put this together, I just felt so complete. I mean, I felt like this was a perfect project, how it looked. I love my little ghosty, my coffee signs, and that pumpkin that I got over at Ross for $2.99 is such a great addition to the coffee bar. And my little witch, she is so, so cute. She's like a pumpkin witch. I love her, got her over at Home Goods, and this just screams coffee bar to me. Do you like it? I ended up wanting to display everything kind of like right in front of me. My husband cooks sometimes and he's like, I can't cook with all your stuff there. <laughs> So I like to admire it. I think it's super cute and I ended up just displaying it here and I ended up patching up the wall. So let's go ahead and get to the living room. We are now in my living room and I have mixed Halloween and fall. A little bit goes a long way. I didn't want to make it too scary and I didn't want to overdo it so I usually just turn on um, YouTube and I look at these nice fall pictures. There's really no room in my living room to put up pictures. I have this bookcase area here with my little credenza and I absolutely love this wood tone color. And I took some planter pots and I just placed my decor in them so when me and the kids are cuddling up watching movies, we can kind of just enjoy the little decor that I have put around. I have probably decorated this area more than a couple of times, but I really like how it looks. I've got a little floral, I've got my little ghosty up there, and a little sign that says Hocus Pocus, um, which is uh, wanted. I just thought that was super cute. and. I got this ghosty over at TJ Maxx last year for $9.99 and I saw them this year and they were $5 more expensive and I was going to buy another one but I just, I said, you know what, I have enough, I don't need to continue to buy and I ended up building this back wall piece with my husband so it's kind of like our own little custom built in. Everybody that comes here just really loves it. This wall was just one huge blank canvas and I'm not sure if we'll change it again but I really have a great time decorating this wall and incorporating different seasons into this built in. I wanted to decorate my hallway. It's a very small hallway, but it's the entrance to my laundry room. And so I put a little leaf on top and I went ahead and I did the inside. I have two nightgowns there, a little hat, my little bicycle. Um, some of that is really vintage and I just absolutely love how the laundry room turned out. I do spend a lot of time in there. <laughs> Now this is the guest room. I didn't do too much in here. I just put a little leaf up there and I put some florals in the window. All right, friends, we've come to the end of the video. This is my bedroom. I have not fully decorated it yet. I will be doing another October home tour in this room because I have got some Halloween goodies I think that you guys will like. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button, become family with us, like this video, and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when I do the next video. All right, guys, God bless you. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.